Let's talk about top level REM. These are the highest level of REM in hierarchy. It's a REM that has no parent. For example, a folder could be a top level REM because it's the highest level. But top level REM can also be REM that don't live in a specific document. And that's because it has no parent. So you can create a top level REM in this way by making it into a text reference. So for example, we can see that I'm currently in a document called RemNote Tutorials, as shown by the title and the breadcrumbs at the top of my screen. Now, I'll create a new concept called Top Level Rem and turn it into a reference using open brackets and then control enter. You can see it was turned into a reference, but if I hover my cursor over this rem, you'll see it doesn't actually exist in any document because of the lack of breadcrumbs. This is a top level rem. The second way to make a top level rem is to include it inside of a portal. Any rem inside of a portal that's not already associated with a parent will be considered a top level rem. So let me demonstrate this. I'm going to create a portal here using control shift enter. And then I'll type in a rem. I'm gonna call it top level portal. Now to show you that it's a top level rem, I'm just gonna open up a daily document and I'm going to reference top level portal. And as you can see, top level portal has no associated parent. This is helpful if you wanna create rem, but don't necessarily want them to live in any particular document. It's a way to organize your ideas by concepts rather than with documents. One of the benefits of this is that by default, top level rem will not show up in your sidebar but you're welcome to have them show up there if you click on the three dots at the top right of the screen and choose to pin it to the sidebar. All right, that's all about top level REM. I'll see you guys in the next one.